this is the secret tech. I made a whole modern geef guide. I can't catch Doki, so I'm trying. Our schedules are not aligned. Down plus triangle plus circle. I had to look constantly on my controller. I was like, what button is this? So during the video, I'm like, uh, X. <laughs> oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, Yo, see, clutch. was that not clean? I think that was pretty clean. That was actually pretty good. We're down incredibly bald. Yes, please save me from my suffering. I hate this game. <laughs> I don't hate this game. No, 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 oh, no, no. I left. I closed my game. Hello. Oh no, you rage quit? <laughs> no, I just didn't want to. I didn't uh, want to waste your time. I mean, you know, you know, you know. according to that Marissa, I don't know. They might, they might think you're a little, little scared. I don't know. Nope, don't worry. I don't think so. We'll give them a reason to be scared. Oh. You recognize pretty well when you could potentially punish someone for doing something or like they with a big DP or like a super. Like you're, you're definitely noticing those moments, but you don't have like a go-to oh, punish. Wow. And the other thing I noticed you're doing is you're doing this combo. Or I guess you're doing midi medium spinning bird kick. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh. Cool. BFA. Oh, sorry. I, I plugged. I think we should just oh. try to do something. Oh, what's going on? Try battle lounge. Okay, don't judge my character. I just, um, I didn't want to make one. Me neither. That would be funny if we were the same. I think we are the same. Yeah. <laughs> hey. All right. Looking good. I requested a fight. Here comes a new challenger. Yeah, we might have to do the secret then. Oh my god. What? <laughs> well, this is disappointing. Okay. The only thing we can do is you can go to training mode and if you I can watch your stream and give you feedback. Okay. Okay. That's I think that's the best we can do. The CFN is making this hard. All right, I'm on the case. Okay, so what we want to work on is like a basic combo, like a punish combo. So the idea being like say they whiffed a, a DP or they there's there's clearly like a whiff. Um, mm. you're doing crouching medium kick into medium kick legs, which is good because that combos naturally. Like, even if it's not a punish, if they just walk into it, it'll combo. So that's pretty good. But you can get more out of it if you do heavy legs, but that only combos if it starts from a punish counter. I think I did it. I don't know what you just did, actually. I have no clue. You turned on a setting to make him wake up with DP. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Sure, I don't know how you even found this, but okay, <laughs> that works. Uh, it's working. Yeah, you gotta knock him down, and then when you punish it, do you, you need to do low forward in time, so it'll say punish counter. So oh. you're not punishing him in time, so it doesn't say punish counter on the screen pop-up. So yeah, if you block this Ouch. DP. Yeah, so like throw, oh, I knock need him to down. block it. Yeah, walk up block, now low oh. forward into heavy legs. Okay, okay. I'm on the case. Okay. That has been done. Oh, that nice. does quite a bit of damage. And you see how it knocks down like that? So you can follow up behind them and, and pressure. And um, I, I think this is like a much better combo. So if you do the jump in combo, do it into medium legs, like jump in. You're doing jump in heavy kick, crouching medium kick into medium kick legs as your jump in combo. Instead of doing a uh, medium punch into the spinning bird kick, Let's just swap that out entirely with this. And if you want to bump up the damage and then maybe cancel into your level two, instead of doing just medium kick legs, do the OD version with two buttons. Yeah. And then there's your level two and you can do the, the jump combo follow up. Yep. That's a real fucking combo. So if you jump in and Ooh. save jump after and then on the safe jump punish, because you're prepped and ready, definitely do your back heavy kick like your big punish combo that you like so much. And you can just poke with it. You can just walk up and press crouching medium kick into OD legs. Um, that is just a good thing to, to pressure with on the ground. Okay, okay, I see. Yeah, so all those situations Whenever. where you're doing crouching medium punch into spinning bird kick, let's try to swap that out with this. This is a much safer and more rewarding option. And you can extend it if it hits, like you see, like you're doing now. Ah. Okay, I see. One thing is, when I um, whenever I had super, I was going for like this low kick and this uh back medium punch. Mm -hmm. But I felt like I always got 100 to zeroed when I didn't play the big drive impact game. But maybe I need to just um get better at it. 
So you have to do it to get better at it. What does that have to do with it? I get what you're saying about not feeling confident using these buttons because you're getting mauled. But what does that do with the super? I'm I'm not following. Oh, oh, because I only I only know how to use super out of out of these two buttons. Okay. Or I mean I can do it at the end of the big combo, but I usually drop it. So so whenever I had super, I was like, hmm, okay, I'm gonna try and get these buttons. But how oh, how are you I turning these died. buttons into super? Can you can you show me? Like this or like like this. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, that makes a lot of sense, and that is good. So the problem is. Uh, you need to read the flow of the match a bit better, and it, it's crazy, or it's hard because it's crazy at your level. Like people are super chaotic, and they're swinging out left things left and right, and yeah. uh, you don't know how to punish things yet because you know it's like thirty billion matchups you have to learn, and <laughs> it's a lot. So I understand why that's difficult. Um, against most characters, you can block and walk away a bit more confidently, and then press these buttons as they walk into you, and then walk forward. A bit more and press those buttons. So I think you need to also work on being confident in walking forward and pressing those buttons into that. Okay. I yeah. I just need to do it more. So when you walk at when you attack someone, you you just walk forward and then like react if they move. Or no, just move? just press it, press it, walk forward and press it, walk into range and press those buttons, man. Just okay. Okay. You you are Chun Li. Like you have the best buttons in the game. You need to be walking up and pressing these buttons and making them piss about your buttons. Also, uh -huh. stand fierce is the other one. So you don't. You stand fierce at all, so that's gonna cover that range. So, sorry, stand heavy punch, I should say. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna cover the ranges where your mediums are gonna whiff. So you can just walk up and smack them with that, and then that's probably gonna get them to start pressing di on you. And then your counter di game is pretty good. You know how to stop di yourself, di in return. Yeah. So they're gonna want to di you when you start pressing heavy punch all day. I realize I'm always um. If I want to close distance, I I always use oh, what's it called? Hasanchu. Hasanchu. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I would just say I'm, like, I'm, like it's because I'm scared, but I need to stop. I need to yeah. just walk. I would say use it once, and when you get in, um, you like to do the crash medium punch into spinning bird kick. So like we talked about, so let's swap that out with legs as an ender, because um, oh, yeah. you do it on block a lot, and the spinning bird kick on block is really bad. And then I get punished really hard. Yeah. yeah. So even if you just blindly buffer this into the the medium legs. That's still unsafe, but most people, I don't think anyone's going to punish you. It's like harder to punish, <laughs> so you can get away with it easier. Yeah, so the Hizanshu, that heavy one you're doing to get the party started and get the combo, that's that's definitely good to do. I think the problem I've noticed with that is when you're up closer and you're doing like the other ones randomly, um, like where you're standing at, like now, there's kind of a delay, but kind of this mid-range game. Um, that's when you should not do as many Hazan shoes because people are just like hitting you out of it before you even land. The heavy one is yeah. cool because it's done from so far away and it's such a surprise that it's going to avoid their moves and it gives you a combo on hit. So the other ones, don't do them when you're up close. That's when you should be pressing like the stand heavy punch, like walk in range for stand heavy punch or things like that. Okay, yeah, so, I see. so understanding these ranges comes with time and then you can keep optimizing like that to keep the flow up. Okay, I see. Okay, now I know how to do damage without using drive impact. Yes, so the, the main <laughs> takeaway I want you to have is crouching medium kick into the legs as like your panic punish. Like like they're flying in the air or they're clearly whiffing a big move. You can at least do the crouching medium kick in the legs. And if it's like a really clear as day punish, you can do crouching medium kick into heavy legs, which will, that doesn't combo nor naturally unless it's a punish. So that one's good because it knocks them down. So if you block this, yeah, into the heavy legs would be good. And you can then pressure them. I see. Yeah, and then you can and try to- One pressure, pressure them when they're standing up. I like stand in front of them and grab, or I do a hit. That's the basic idea, yes. Like, like when they're waking up from the ground, you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, the basic idea would be throw or or button strike throws the the concept and what you're missing is like when you're point blank you don't use your lights at all so that's the next level of your pressure up close th that you haven't unlocked oh, yet yeah. so like if you get all the way in his grill and just press like stand light punch like three times like <laughs> that even just doing that would level you, you can't up. play the game yeah so like just press three and then don't do another one because it's gonna whiff but like understanding how many jabs you can get that's really good. And if they're blocking, that's still good because you're locking them down. 
So getting a feel for how many jabs you can chain in a row before it whiffs would really help you out. So if you're up close and you knock them down, you can go for the throw, which you understand already. You're using that effectively. Um, but then if you think, oh, maybe they're going to want to tech the throw or, or press buttons, you can press stand light punch like three times. And then after that, three times you're pushed out. And when you see what range you're left after the jabs whiff, at that range, crouching medium kick, stand heavy punch, uh, stand, oh. uh, you know, whatever, your other buttons. So that pushes you back to your effective poke range. Oh, that's very annoying. Yes. So that's the, I guess, small Street Fighter to medium Street Fighter. Then if you're further out, it's a big Street Fighter to <laughs> get like the Tekken sort of uh, concepts, right? So point blank, it's your stand light punches. Then you're pushed back to your medium and heavy punch range. And then if you're further away from there, that's when you can maybe threaten like a DI or like a Hazanchu. Yep. Okay, I see. And so, then tied together with oh, BDP yeah. drive rush to be super threatening. Yeah. Oh. Okay, okay. Awesome. I can't do it from this side. <laughs> but I can't tomorrow after a night's sleep. I don't know yeah. how to explain it. I think a good thing to do, like it's kind of funny how you have super complex conversions and combos. It's good to also just try to focus on something super basic for a w little while too. Just that's why I keep uh, emphasizing like the crouching medium kick and bullet, the medium legs. Yeah. Like just have something reliable in your back pocket for scramble scenarios so that you don't have to think too much. Okay. Okay. Yeah, chat's reminding me. I have one more thing to to uh to sh teach you about. I hope it's not overwhelming you. You're using mm. the fireball from a distance really effectively. Um, one thing we can add to sauce that up, because I noticed you get the fireball out, like, yeah, this range, and you do walk up. One thing about what you're currently doing is you can be more confident behind that and walk up, and if they block it, or even if they throw a fireball at it to cancel it, I notice that you tend to walk away after that instead of taking yeah, your I'm turn. Yeah, like, oh, I don't have my fireball anymore. I'm yeah, scared. <laughs> but they threw the fireball to cancel your fireball, but you're moving first, which means you have advantage. They had to spend time to throw that fireball, and they have recovery from that fireball as well, but they can't move. So you can walk up and press Fierce Punch or walk up and press Crouching Medium Kick into the legs or walk up Crouching Medium Kick into Dry Brush, right? So if you see them throw yeah. a fireball as well, yeah, I see it's even comboing sometimes. Like if they, if they get hit at the right spacing by the fireball, your your fireball is comboing to the sand fierce or sand heavy punch. Oh, that's crazy. So be a little bit more confident about taking your turn there. And then the new thing though, beyond just being more confident and walking up and pressing buttons, is from that fireball from a distance, we can also try to drive rush in and, and pressure them. Oh so, yeah, I couldn't figure out how to do that. It doesn't work with the parry button. So after you throw the fireball, you're going to hold parry to buffer it. And while you're holding parry, just keep mashing dash. Dash oh. forward. So just, there you go. You got it. Then once it activates, you're going to let go of the controller and let the dry brush proceed. And then once you get in range, you can press an attack. And I think a good attack to try pressing would be forward and heavy kick. Oh, yeah, yeah. It goes so far. That move. That move, yeah. And so the thing is, the fireball will cover you while you're dry rushing behind it. And then that forward heavy kick, if they block it, you're plus. Like you can move first and pressure them with jabs. So it's gonna oh. depend on the spacing. And you know, I think from full screen, you might need to like dash forward or walk forward a little bit first sometimes. So you're doing neutral Ooh. heavy kick. I would do forward yeah, and heavy kick. Yeah, I messed kicks. it up. Yes, there you go. Thanks. Hey. And can also grab out of it. Um, out of what? Dry rush? Yeah, maybe. So the idea should be that you kind of want them to block the fireball. But yes, you can oh, do that. Right. So I think you're... Which fireball are you doing when you're throwing this? The one. The, the, oh, the, the light. Th throw heavy. Or does heavy go further? I forget which one goes the furthest with her. Light goes the furthest. Light goes the furthest? Okay. Yeah, I think you're... Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think you're just a little bit too far to do this example. So be a little bit closer maybe to them. And then and then try try testing it out a little bit further. That's good. That was good. that was perfect. Yeah, that's a good distance. So full screen, you might have to like walk forward a little bit first. That's the that was the range where you can really feel the power. Like the fireball approaches them right then. Um, and if they block the fireball, you can do dry version to throw. 
If you want to just get plus frames and maybe a combo, drive rush to forward heavy kick, that just gets you in and gets you pressure. Very, very powerful. Like you suddenly have a Ooh. shield to cover you and then you're running in behind it and they kind of have to hold that. Oh, I have many tools now. Yeah, that just enhances your game because a lot of times you're throwing the fireball and I'm like, okay, those are good fireballs, but then you're not getting any advantage from it. That's what mm. you can do to get advantage from it. So one, be confident when you're walking behind it normally and keep walking and pressing buttons. And then two, figure out like our experiment with doing it and then drive rushing behind it. And I can whip punish almost everything with that medium kick, right? Yeah, most moves you can. So there's a, there's some moves in the game that don't have like a hurt box around their, their toes. So oh. like, but that's the majority of the better footsie buttons in this game have hurt boxes around the toes. Uh, but Ryu, like, stand heavy punch, for example, he does, like, a big stiff fist. You know, uh -huh. there's there's a hurt box that extended around his fist, but that's more, like, shoulder height. So you can't really oh. clip it on the toes from a distance. But I but, can do... But if you're close enough, you can still get it. Punch? Yeah, back medium punch is... Yeah, yeah that's, that's a good way to compartmentalize it. The back medium punch is, like, your mid-height with punish tool. And then crouching medium kick is for the lows. Crouching medium kick has more range, but will miss on some extended hurt boxes, where back medium punch or forward medium punch will clip those instead. Godlike button. That button is so good. So, and you can do the same thing. You can do that into legs or do that into dry rush cancel. Ooh. Yeah, her pokes are really good. Oh, scary. Okay, I see. A whole different way to play the game. Oh, this is exciting. Yeah, the problem with Sean is like at, you know, when you're first starting out and you're playing other beginners who are just face rolling, it's hard to to control the match and make it look like, you know, the the beautiful footsie chun -Li game plan. That takes a while to to rein in your opponents. Um, yeah. But with time, you can. And that's why focusing on some simple punishes, like the low, crouching meeting picking the legs, and then having like fireball drive rush, that kind of enforces your offense and forces them to respect your offense a little bit more and respect your space control. Once you establish that, they might actually clam up a little bit more. And then that's when you can start poking and like crouching medium kick, stand medium punch, uh, back medium punch, stand heavy punch. Like It starts to tie it together so that you can play a more nuanced game plan. Ah, okay. Tomorrow will be a great day. Nice. <laughs> nice. And you got you got a lot of stuff. I was really impressed. I was watching your games for a while. I was really impressed with your oh. anti-airs and your awareness and, and a lot of punishes. Thank so, you. Thank you. You're making really good progress. Okay. Well, that's all I got for you this time. I don't want to overload you. You're you're doing enough overloading <laughs> to yourself. So. Um, yes. Yes. Yeah. Let me know if you have more questions. I'll. Uh, okay. Be in the loop. I'm I'm loving these nightly things because each day I like apply everything you said and then I need more things. Nice, yeah. And this so is just I will have I'm more free. things tomorrow. <laughs> yes, yes. So it works out perfect. Yes, All right, perfect. sounds good. Thank you, thank no you. No problem, thank you. All right, later. Goodbye forever. Bye. Crouch medium kick, excuse me. I keep saying, yeah, my chat keeps correcting me that I'm using the boomer terms. I'm trying to get my lingo up with the times. I'm an 09 er so, well, like a 2010 er So that's where it came from for me. It wasn't organically like learned from the games, it was learned from the community. I like numpad notation a lot. Uh.